What's going on guys and welcome back to another stimulus update. I have some good news for you guys. If you've been waiting for a stimulus check, I have some really good news. So first off, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. First off, Recent reports from many people here in the community and across Twitter as well are now saying that there are pending dates for their stimulus checks for the second round. This means not only people that missed out on the first round of direct deposits, but we're getting news that yes, we are seeing pending dates for people that do have uh, a direct express card or that do receive social security benefits that yes, they are going to be getting a payment and the date is actually March 24th. That is this coming Wednesday. What you need to keep in mind is that whenever we see a, a payment go out, even though the IRS stated that a paper checks will be sent out on March 22nd, well, that's a Monday. Normally checks do not go out on a Monday. For the past two rounds, for the $1,200 stimulus checks and the $600 stimulus checks, every single payment gets released on a Wednesday. So this is good news. We are seeing that this is seriously going to be it. This could be when you get your check is this coming Wednesday. Now, the majority of people received their stimulus check last Wednesday. But that was just for the first round. The IRS says they will continue to send out checks. Now, we also know the IRS has sent out roughly 150,000 paper checks. However, they have said that they will be sending out millions more paper checks in the coming days. This is what we could see this week. Most likely, it will be the paper checks being sent out this coming week, most likely on Monday. That's in two days. However, we will see additional direct deposits for the next round. And according to reports, we're gonna see people that do get social security benefits, you know, SSI, SSDI, VA, you know, all that stuff, right? You guys are going to finally see pending dates on your, uh, on your account. Now, here's what you need to do. I know you've been a little bit upset that why haven't I received my stimulus check yet? But just understand, it's only been nine days. It's only been nine days since this $1.9 trillion stimulus package was actually signed into law by President Biden. The first round of checks, they've only just been deposited like four days ago. So it's not like you're really behind, but I get it. When you are behind on a bill, you need the money, you want it now. But here's what you need to do. Remember that right now, if you don't know when you're getting your check, you don't know any information about it, what you need to do is go to the irs.gov website in the top left hand corner there's going to be a button where you can actually uh, go it's called the get my payment tool or get my payment portal you want to click that button you're going to input all your information i think it asks for your um was it your date of birth your social security number i believe uh where you live and i think there's one other question I don't know, okay? I don't remember all the questions. Uh, I should, I just looked at, but I don't remember all the questions. So that is what you need to do. And remember, about a month ago, a lot of people, myself included, and I was getting information from many experts, many lawmakers as well, that were saying that no, the likelihood of a stimulus check coming in March is very unlikely. Many people were saying that we were gonna see this sometime in the middle to end of April. I was on that same side. I was thinking, you know what? I don't see us getting this deal done, especially with how far Joe Manchin was to where the Democrats were actually at. But we got the deal done. We're starting to see the checks and we're seeing them about a month early. So that's good news. Now, another thing that's happening right now, which is actually pretty big, is we're getting an additional push from Democrats for student loan forgiveness, for a $15 minimum wage, and for an additional stimulus check. Okay? And I know what you're thinking, and I've seen the comments. A lot of you guys are like, why do you keep bringing up a fourth stimulus check when we're still waiting on the third one? The reason I bring it up is because many lawmakers are discussing it at this point. I'm not bringing it up just to get your hopes up. Yeah, that would be great to get a fourth stimulus check. The reason I bring it up is because the lawmakers, I'm not a lawmaker, I'm just a guy on YouTube. The lawmakers are telling us that that's in discussion. They are working to try to figure out how we can provide more le relief to the American people. If a $15 minimum wage can't get passed, guess what can? Another stimulus check. We already know this. It passed the last round through a budget reconciliation. It can pass again. That's what we're hearing. So we already know 
President Biden forgave $1 billion in student loan debt to students that were um, defrauded by for-profit colleges. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who's been pushing for student loan forgiveness of up to $50,000 per student, he says that this is a great step forward to forgiving over $1 trillion in student debt. So what we know is yes, President Biden has the ability to do it, but we are going to most likely see a student loan forgiveness bill in the next bill, in the next round, in the infrastructure bill or something like that. But as to what else will be included, that is where we don't really know. However, we have heard from multiple lawmakers as to what they want to see in it. We heard from Senator Chris Coons just today, and he said, and I quote from Twitter, he says, next month, the Senate will take up legislation to enable the U.S. to compete with China economically. Here are the two bills to do just that. The Innovation Center's Acceleration Act and the National Manufacturing Guard Act. And even Senator Dick Durbin, who's the number two Democrat in the Senate, he completely agrees with all of this. However, what you need to understand is Dick Durbin is also one of the ones that helped write the Innovation Center's Acceleration Act. But we're not done there. We also know many Democrats are saying that the $15 minimum wage would actually help the United States compete with China. This would actually help. We'd have better products. We'd have, we'd bring back some manufacturing here to the United States. But then Republicans are saying that, no, the reason why we are sending all this work over to people in China is because it's cheaper. It makes more sense if they already have the stuff to make the products. Why would we spend the money to make the products and pay higher labor costs? It just makes more sense to send it overseas. So right now, Republicans are like, no, 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 we cannot increase the minimum wage. If we do this, it will actually send more work over to China and that would cause uh, even more of an issue. So we would not be competing with China economically. What we do know is that Senator Bernie Sanders is still gonna push for the $15 minimum wage. He has been saying this for a while. We know Chuck Schumer is still gonna push for student loan forgiveness. This is something that he is not backing down from and he's even gotten more senators on board as well. And we have a whole host of progressives that are currently saying that they want to see monthly stimulus checks not to the tune of $2,000. Yes, multiple people say $2,000, but the majority of people say we need monthly stimulus checks. We need consistency. Consistent income is what's gonna help bring people out of poverty and keep them out of poverty. We also know uh, progressives want to see a permanent child tax credit, not something for just one year, and there's much more that they want, but I'll leave you on that. So what we are hearing is that the Senate plans on taking up multiple bills next month. However, which bill comes first, it all depends on how the infrastructure bill or President Biden's Build Back Better plan comes out. Right now, Democrats are getting closer on getting this infrastructure bill done. However, it has not yet been finalized as to the framework of the bill. So what we are hearing is we will, the Senate will debate first on whichever bill hits the floor first. If it's this Chinese package, great. If it's a bill on infrastructure, perfect. If it's a standalone bill on something else, they will debate on that first. So it's pretty much first come, first serve in the Senate. So again, we will have to wait and see exactly where the Senate stands, how Democrats and Republicans are going to kind of unite and hopefully provide something better for the American people. What I can tell you is that right now, a lot of people are very upset simply because they're waiting on their stimulus check, but yet Congress is off working on other bills. But yet this $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, stimulus package, still has many holes in it. We know there's a possibility your $1,400 stimulus check can be garnished. We know states are having an issue with who they actually give money to for rental assistance. And we know the money for vaccines is not going out fast enough. That's at least according to multiple new reports. But there's other news that we have as well. What we do know is that today, uh, Miami Beach was declared in a state of emergency due to the amount of spring breakers in the city. The, now we know Miami Beach now has a curfew of 8 p.m. And some streets will even be closed down except for residents and hotel guests. 
Experts are currently warning that without more mandates and more uh, restrictions for some of these spring break cities, we could see a huge spike in cases in the coming weeks. So that right now is currently what we're hearing. There is good news for the stimulus check. So at least that is that. But as always, can you do me a favor? Go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family over on Facebook as well so they too can stay updated. But again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday evening. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.